on the rear, one problem you're gonna run into is to get to the brake pins, the shock is gonna be in the way. Yes, you could use a small Allen key to take them off, but when you're reinstalling, you're gonna to need to torque them down and you're not gonna be able to get to them. So, to get to them easier, what we suggest is removing the rear shock and supporting the suspension so it doesn't drop. And we'll do it like this. So what we have here, we have a jack stand under the lower control arm and we unmounted the lower mounting point of the rear shock. And what this does, we can move that rear shock out of the way and remove the brake pins from the caliper. Lower this down so you can see what happens if you don't put a jack stand under it. The rear shock spring comes out of its mount and that's why you wanna make sure you support the lower control arm properly. The reason you don't want that is if you're working alone, you're gonna to have to recompress that spring to get this back together. If you're dealing with the rear brakes, you can also consider the parking brake. So at least on the E46 M3, you have your typical drum brake. Here's your pad, and this is the drum it runs in. And here's your adjustment. So what you're gonna to wanna to do, car is only gonna be a street car, go ahead and refer to the manufacturer's suggestions. Because this is gonna be a track car, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten the brake down using this star adjustment so that we hear a little scratch. And then we're gonna back it off just enough so that we don't hear any scratch as we turn the wheel. To properly adjust the star adjustment, you're gonna to need to remove one of the wheel studs to get your tool in there to adjust it. Track car, the reason we're not really concerned with the parking brakes is, is because these brakes get very hot on the track. So when you come in to park it, you're not setting the parking brake. If you're setting the parking brake, you're gonna warp things. So most of the time you just leave it in gear, never really use it. See, we hear a little scratch. Normally that'd be a good setting, especially for a street car. But since this is a track car, like we said, we can back it off just a little bit. So to open this up, go clockwise. Now that makes it tighter to give you more brake. As you adjust it, you'll notice the spring holds the star in place. We're backing it off, yeah, track yeah. of where you are. This will give you less brake. We're gonna find that perfect spot. With the wheels back on, 